Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here the question which of the following pairing are incorrect. So it is one of the direct question and they want to know about the incorrect option in the following. So following pairs is incorrect. So we have to find out the option which is not correct. So first of all, here are the options outing bifurcation and number four. So, aortic bifurcation it occurs at the level of the lumbar 4 or not, then we can see the transpylodic vein, it is and lumbar 1 vertebral level, then termination of the dural sac and lumbar 4, that means the termination of the dural sac occurs in the uh, sac occurs at lumbar 4 or not, then esophagus passes through the diaphragm and thoracic 12 vertebral level. And transition between the pharynx and esophagus at cervical 6 level. So we have to find out the structure and the vertebral level of this structure. Then it will be very easy for us that which pairing is not correct. So first of all, let's see here. Here you can see this is the abdominal aorta. It enters from the thorax into the abdomen through this diaphragm and at the level of the thoracic 12 vertebra. So the abdominal aorta enters into the abdomen at the level of thoracic 12 vertebra then it uh, descend downward very close to the vertebral uh, vertebral column and then we can see it, it bifurcates into the common iliac artery and we can see this bifurcated point is lumbar 4 so abdominal aorta it starts from the thoracic 12 vertebra and it ends at the level of the lumbar 4 vertebra and from this space it provides different type of the branches of to supply the abdomen and system so uh, sorry abdominal alone so this two point is very important first of all it, uh, uh, it starts at the level of the thoracic 12 vertebra to the aortic opening of the diaphragm and it terminates at the level of the lumbar 4 vertebra into the right and left common iliac artery so the abdominal aorta it bifurcated at the level of the lumbar 4 vertebra so this point should be remembered for answering the question then we can see this is the transpylodic plane that means this plane it passes to the level of the pylorus of the stomach and we can see this cuts the coastal margin at the level of this mid clavicular line here so here we can see this line and this line passes uh, this mid clavicular line and transpylodic plane it passes the coastal margin at the level of the nine coastal cartilages actually it is the tip of the nine coastal cartilages then in the second picture we also can see this is the transpyloric plane here and it is level of the lumbar one vertebra so transpyloric plane it located at the level of the lumbar one vertebra and in the third picture we can see the different level of the here they are showing the different level of the diaphragmic opening and first of all here at this level this is the vena cabal opening and vena cabal opening located at the level of the thoracic 8 vertebra then esophageal opening it uh, located at the level of the thoracic 10 vertebra level and aortic hiatus is located at the thoracic 12 so this three landmark is one of the very very important for any type of exam that the inferior vena cava it located at the level of the thoracic 8 insufficus is located at the level of the thoracic 10 and aortic hiatus is located at the thoracic 12 vertebra so this level are very very important for a type of the exam so it is uh, another picture and here we can see this is the vertebral column and here um, it is a part of the thoracic vertebra and here the lumbar vertebra we can see this is the lumbar vertebra and here the sacrum and coccyx and we can see this is called the vertebral canal and through the vertebral column we know that the spinal cord located and in this picture we can see the spinal cord here and the spinal cord terminates at the level of the lumbar on vertebra so this vertebral level also very very important that the but uh, 
uh, spinal cord it uh, terminates in and the terminal part is conus medullaris and it is at the level of the lumbar one vertebra then we can see this terminal part uh, and it uh, extend downward and the outer sheet outer sheet is the dural sac and we can see the dural sac is reached up to there that means the sacral two so the termination of dural sac occurs at the level of the sacral two this uh, point also very very important that the termination of the dual sac it occurs at the level of the sacral two vertebral level so these two important level one is the termination of the spinal cord lumbar one and termination of the dural sac it is sacral two area so this point is very very important on the other hand the phylum terminally that means the final uh, the terminal that means the last phylum and it's attached to the coccygeal area so this also very important it is actually here they are saying it is coccygeal one so this vertebral level from this picture they also very important including mrcs and other exams so here spinal cord lumbar one dural sac sacral two and coccygeal one is the sacral hiatus and the phylum terminally it uh, uh, terminates very close to this coccyx or in the coccyx and in the second picture here we can see different type of options such as here we can see the thyroid cartilage here then cricoid cartilage then trachea and trachea bifurcate into the different parts and we can see this is the esophagus and the diaphragm at this level and we can see this is the cervical vertebral six level and cervical vertebral six level here uh, the this is the pharynx here pharynx terminates and the esophagus opening so this point is very very important the cervical six level at vertebral level at this level the pharynx these two muscles here are showing the pharynx and termination of the pharynx occur and the starting of the esophagus so now we have to uh, correct now that the aortic bifurcation occurs at the level of lumbar four it is true trans pyloric plane and lumbar one it also true then termination of the dural sac at lumbar four so so uh, see the option we done that the dural sac termination occurs at the level of the sacral to not lumbar four it is the sacral two then esophagus pass through the diaphragm it is thoracic 10 it is also true because the major openings of the diaphragm are vanacabal opening aortic opening and esophageal opening the vanacabal opening at the level of the thoracic 8 esophageal opening at the level of thoracic 10 and aortic opening at the level of the thoracic 12 vertebra and transition between the pharynx and esophagus is cervical 6 level it also true we saw that in the picture so our final answer is the termination of the dural sac and lumbar four it is not the correct option that means it is the incorrect option and rest of all option are true thank you